I will now show you how we can introduce page breaks inside of our report and how we can create page set. Uh, for that, I want to uh, achieve uh, that uh, the, every country from this uh, list is on its own uh, page. So I want Angola on one page, Cameroon on second page, and so on. So I want to create a page breaks and I want a page break here. I want it here. I want it here. So after each country, I want a page break. So how to achieve this? Well, uh, for that, uh, we have to select our country that we are going to use uh, to create those page breaks. We will click on this button here and we will select the third option. But we only have two options here. So what to do now? Well, first we have to change one setting. For that, I will go here to Report menu. I will go to Report. And here we have this uh, property that is named uh, View Pages as Tabs. And this uh, property is turned on. So what is this property doing? Well, first, let's say that we have two pages inside of this report. And if I run my uh, report in HTML format, at the top of my report, I would get these two tabs. So I have a tab for page one and tab for page two. I have two pages. And if we disable this uh, property, so if I change this uh, setting to no, if I it then again uh, I run uh, my report in HTML format, I will have this uh, first page at the top and second page will be at the bottom. So my pages are organized from the top to bottom. Now, I have to turn off uh, this property in order to show you how to create a page set. Now, I will go back here to page one. I will again select this uh, column country. I will click on this button. And now I have four options. And the third option is the one I will going to use. So I will click on a set page break. We would get this message that will uh, warn us what will happen. I will click on OK. And now we have on each page a separate country. If we now go here to uh, Pages folder, we will notice that our uh, page one is changed. Now we have created a page set. And we will notice that now uh, our page one is on the second position. So I will move this uh, page two down to a second position so that page one is on the first position. Uh, now we can uh, run our report. I will run it in PDF format. And we will notice that on each uh, page we have a different country. So here is Afghanistan, and then we have Albania, Algeria, Angola, and uh, so on. If we export our report in Excel, in that case, every sheet will be a separate uh, country. So we will have here Afghanistan, then Albania, Algeria, and so on. You can also notice one more thing. Uh, here, uh, at first, we have countries uh, or, or, or sorted by their region. So here we have, for example, Cameroon. But here, uh, now, we have all the uh, sheets uh, sorted by name of the country. So we only have uh, countries uh, whose names start with A. Uh, we can also uh, notice that at the end of all of these sheets, we have our page two. And in Excel, we can notice one big problem. We can see that the names of our sheets are not really nice. They are ugly. Uh, we have a name of our page, and then we have uh, this underscore, and then some number, number two, underscore, the number three, underscore, and number four. So can we change this? Can we have this uh, first page named as Afghanistan, this uh, second uh, sheet named as Albania, this third sheet named as Algeria? Can we change that? Well, that is possible to do. For that, we have to change some advanced uh, settings inside of Cognos. Now, for, I will not show you how to change those settings because I don't have enough of privileges inside of this Cognos instance. Instead of that, I will just show you what are those settings. Uh, here, first, we have one uh, setting that is named like this. And we have to set uh, this uh, setting to true. And if we do that, then each uh, sheet will be named by country. So this will be sheet Afghanistan, this will be sheet Albania, and so on. We also have uh, this uh, second website 
where we can see that we can also change this uh, setting to false. If we do that, then we will not have uh, this uh, underscore and four, this uh, underscore and five, this underscore and six, and so on. Uh, those uh, suffixes will disappear. And how to change those uh, settings? That is explained on this uh, website. So we can just follow this uh, guide to change those settings. But before we do that, we have to be aware of one thing. Uh, names of sheets in Excel have to be unique. They have to be shorter than 32 characters. And we cannot place a special sign inside of uh, sheet names. For example, here I cannot type a question mark. So uh, all the words, uh, all text inside of our column that we are using to create uh, this uh, page set have to uh, follow th those rules. We cannot have, for example, uh, here a question mark. That would be a problem. And such uh, Excel file would be corrupted. So everything has to follow those three rules. Now, how, how, how can come that we can have uh, sheets with the same name? Well, if we use uh, those options, so if we use uh, this option here, then uh, this uh, sheet here would be named Argentina. So here we would have Argentina. But it is possible that we already have some uh, page inside of our columns that is already named Argentina. And this would create a conflict. We can notice here that Excel doesn't allow this, and but Cognos will create such Excel file, and that Excel file uh, would be corrupted. Now let's go back, and let's see now how we can deconstruct our page set. For that, we will go here to Pages folder. We will first move our page one here to be to become a regular page. So we'll just move it like this, on this position. Then we will select this page set and we will just click on delete on our keyboard. And if we go now back here to uh, page one, we can see that our uh, page one is as it is it, it was uh, before. Uh, let's now create that page set, but this time we will do everything manually. For achieving that, we will go here to our pages folder and we will use this uh, control here, page set. I will move this page set at this position, and inside of it we will have this uh, folder detail uh, pages. I will move my page one inside of this uh, folder, and uh, then I will click here on page set one. First, we have to uh, tell to our page set what logic to use to split our page one into pages. But first, we will notice that this uh, page set one is uh, connected to query two. So this is automatically created new query, but I want it connected to query one because my page one is connected to uh, query one. That is that list on page one is connected to uh, query one. So first we have to change that. And then we have to go here to grouping and sorting. I will click here on these three dots. And uh, first we will add our uh, column country here to groups. So our column country will be used to uh, create uh, different pages. And just for presentation, I will uh, move this column country here to this sort list, and I will change uh, direction of sorting to uh, descending. So I have changed that, and I will click on OK. And this is everything we have to do. And now I will run my report in PDF format, and we will see how it looks like we got our result. So on each uh, page, we have different country, but we have noticed one uh, thing that is different. Here we have Zimbabwe on, on the top. So we have uh, Z uh, letter countries at the top. So direction of our uh, sort order is uh, different because we have used uh, that option for uh, sorting. So uh, everything is working as we have uh, made it.